everyone this is tim from your six game and today in this video i'm gonna go and show you how to connect a playstation 5 controller to your pc wirelessly so you can play games like fortnite so let's go ahead and jump the video right now so it's very easy to wirelessly connect your playstation 5 controller to the pc the first thing you want to go ahead and do is put it into the pairing mode by pressing the share button down right here and then the playstation button in the middle press them down at the same time and the blue lights on the light bar will begin to flash that's when you'll know it's in the sync and pairing mode so now that the controller is in the pairing mode let's go over to my pc right now and then connect via bluetooth so here's my desktop let's go down to the windows start button right here and go to this then go to settings now go to Bluetooth and devices and go to add device. Now this will pop up, go to Bluetooth, then add a device. Here's my wireless controller. Let's select it and it's connecting. And my controller is now connected and I'm moving it around with my thumbstick. So with this, I'm going to go to done and then get a application and program called Steam. So just go to google.com and type in steam, press enter. It'll be the first one on the top here. So it says store.steampower.com. Let's go to welcome to steam. And steam has an online store. It has a friends list. So it's really good to have just in terms of PC gaming. So here's the direct URL. Now let's go to install steam. And I already have it on my computer. So let's open up steam right now. And then go to the application. Now it's updating and you'll have to create a username and password to log in. Now this is what it looks like. So this is Steam. Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now in the bottom left side of the screen, it says add game. If we select this, we can go to add a non Steam game. Now the reason you want to go ahead and use Steam is because it allows a controller to connect wirelessly and play games so even if the game doesn't support it like fortnite so we can go to add a non-steam game and you won't be able to find fortnite under this list it's under epic games so it won't show up under here so if we go to browse now and for you it will probably be under the windows c drive so let's go all the way back And go to this PC and here's Windows C then you want to go to program files x86 then find epic games you should find the Fortnite folder in here somewhere for me it's in a completely different location so once we get to the Fortnite folder let's select it and double click in it then go to Fortnite then go to Fortnite game then go to binaries, go to win64, then go to Fortnite client win64 shipping right here and select this. Then it's selected right here. You can see it. Go to add selected programs. Good. Now let's go over to library and then find Fortnite under this list. So I have Fortnite already added. If you double click right here and go to the right click and go to properties this little shortcut window will appear once i drag it over here you can delete the name here and just put fortnite and then you won't have the entire thing now let's launch fortnite but we want to launch it in the big picture mode so in the upper right side is big picture mode just go ahead and simply select this with your mouse and it's going to launch in the big picture mode just like this now your controller should be working right now when you're moving around the menu. So I got my controller right now. Let's go over to library and then go to recent, find Fortnite, select X on it, then go to play and start this up. So here's my controller. Let's move around with it. You can see it's working on the screen in front of me right now. So I'm wirelessly using my controller via Bluetooth with Fortnite. And you can do this with other games 
So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If did, go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on Your 6 Gaming.